Hello and welcome to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. My name's Joan Walker. And my name's David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a drama story. So, first of all, tell us, David, why is the story called Obla Air? Because the story is about an airline called Obla Air. And an airline is a company which flies passengers from one place to another, isn't it? Exactly. And in this series, we hear about the lives of Obla Air's staff and its passengers. The first scene is in the Obla Air office. You're going to hear a conversation between two people. The woman is Betsy. She works for Obla Air. She's the office manager. She's talking to a man called Vinnie Chambers. He's a customer. They're talking about a flight to London on Friday. And as you listen, answer these two questions. What does the customer want? And what kind of airline is Obla Air? I'll give you those questions again. What does Vinnie Chambers, the customer, want? And what kind of airline is Obla Air? Is it big, small, cheap? Expensive? Let's find out. Here's the first scene. Look, it's a simple request. All I want is a business class seat on your flight to London on Friday. But Mr Chambers... You're flying to London on Friday, aren't you? Yes. And the plane's not full, is it? No. Then just sell me a business class seat. How difficult is that? Because, Mr. Chambers, as I just explained to you, we don't have business class seats. Obla Air is a budget airline. We have one kind of seat. All the seats are good, all the seats are cheap, and none of them are business class. But I can afford to pay. Mr. Chambers, I don't care if you can afford to buy the whole airline. There are no business class seats on Obla Air, and that's that. So, what does the customer, Vinnie Chambers, want? He wants a business class seat on the flight to London on Friday. A business class seat is an expensive seat on the plane. It gives you more room and better food. And what kind of airline is Obla Air? It's a budget airline. Yes, it's a budget airline. And what does that mean? It means that... All the seats are cheap, so there are no business class seats. And the customer, Vinnie Chambers, doesn't seem very happy about that. But before Betsy and Vinnie can continue their conversation, another person comes into the office. Listen to the next part of the scene and answer these questions. Who comes into the office? What does this person want? And how does Vinnie react? I'll give you those questions again. Who comes into the office? What does this person want? And what does Vinnie Chambers think about it? How does he react? Let's find out. Here's the next part of the scene. Betsy, Betsy, can I have a word? Uh, excuse me, Mr Chambers. I need some money. Can you get me some money from the cash box? I'm serving a customer. But I need to pay my taxi fare. The driver's outside with the meter running. You know what he's like. Oh, very well. Excuse me, Mr Chambers. I'll be with you in one minute. There you are. Thank you. What's that all about, then? Do you give money to anyone who comes in off the street? I'll have some myself, if that's the case. That was Captain Max Obla. He'll be your pilot on Friday. Captain Max Obla? Yes, he's the owner of the airline too. What? He owns an airline, but he doesn't have enough money to pay his taxi fare? He's a very busy man. He's got other things to worry about. Excuse me? What kind of airline is this? You've got no business class seats. Your captain's got no money in his pocket, and your office is not much better than a shed. Do you know what? I think I'll take my business elsewhere. So, who comes into the office? Captain Max Obler. 
He's the pilot of the plane, and he's also the owner of the airline. And what does Captain Obler want? He wants some money to pay his taxi fare, because the driver is waiting outside. And how does the customer, Vinny, react to this? Well, he's not impressed. He says, "What kind of airline is this? You've got no business class seats." Your captain's got no money in his pocket, and your office is not much better than a shed. Vinnie then says that he is going to look for another airline. I think I'll take my business elsewhere. And with that, he walks out of the office. You're listening to Obla Air. A Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. In the next scene, we go outside the office and listen to Betsy again. She's talking to the taxi driver. He's called Kenji. It seems that they're friends, but Betsy is not happy with him. She says, "We've just lost another customer, and it's all thanks to you." And as you listen to the scene, answer these questions: Why does Betsy say that it was Kenjay's fault that they lost the customer? And what interesting news does Kenjay have for Betsy? I'll give you those questions again. Why does Betsy say that it was Kenjay's fault that they lost the customer? And what interesting news does Kenjay have for Betsy? Let's listen and find out. Well, <laughs> he didn't seem too happy. Oh, I don't know, Kenji. These tourists can be so rude. We do our best for them. Well, don't complain. Huh? <laughs> They bring a lot of money to Freeport and to Obla Air. Oh, I wish that was true. But we've only sold ten seats on our flight this week, and now. We've just lost another customer, thanks to you. Huh? Thanks to me? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Well, it was your taxi outside just now, wasn't it? Why couldn't you wait for your money? Why did you have to stay outside with your meter running? Well, you know my rules, Betsy. Never give credit. That's what I always say. Not even to Captain Obla? Oh, especially not to Captain Obla, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You don't need to worry about losing a customer. That's easy for you to say, but times are hard. We need every customer we can get. Ah, you haven't heard then? Heard what? There's an airline strike in London. It was on the radio just now. An airline strike? Yes. Obla Air will be the only airline flying from Freeport to London this week. <laughs> Your customer will be back, believe me. He's got nowhere else to go. So Betsy is annoyed with Kenji at the start of the scene. Why? Because Kenji caused trouble for the captain, as he didn't wait for him to pay his taxi fare. By the way, a taxi fare is money that you pay to travel in a taxi. And why didn't Kenji want to wait for Captain Obla to pay his fare? Kenji explains. Never give credit. That's what I always say. Giving credit means lending money. So Kenji says that he never lends money, not even to Captain Obla. And what about our other question? What interesting news does Kenji have for Betsy? There's an airline strike in London, and a strike is when people refuse to work. Often because they want more pay or better conditions, but this strike is in London. Why is it important for Obla Air? Because it means that Obla Air will be the only airline flying from Freeport to London this week. Freeport is the name of the city which is the home of Obla Air, so the strike means that the customer Vinny Chambers will have to go back to Obla Air if he wants to fly to London this week. And we'll hear more about that next time.
This is Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. Now let's remind you of some of the language from today's program. In particular, we're going to look at the language of travel. First, what do you call a company which flies passengers from one place to another? An airline. An airline. And what do you call an airline which only sells very cheap tickets? A budget airline. A budget airline. And what do you call the expensive seats on a plane that give you more room and better food? Business class. Business class. And we heard Betsy use all those words and phrases at the start of today's drama. How difficult is that? Because, Mr. Chambers, as I just explained to you, we don't have business class seats. Obla Air is a budget airline. We have one kind of seat. All the seats are good, all the seats are cheap, and none of them are business class. But I can afford to pay. Now listen to this short clip of Betsy talking to Vinnie. Can you hear the word that means the person who flies the plane? I'll have some myself if that's the case. That was Captain Max Obla. He'll be your pilot on Friday. Captain Max Obla. And the word that means the person who flies the plane is... Pilot. Pilot. Next, listen again to Betsy talking to Captain Obla. What is the phrase that means money that you pay for a ride in a taxi? Excuse me, Mr Chambers. I need some money. Can you get me some money from the cash box? I'm serving a customer. But I need to pay my taxi fare. The driver's outside with the meter running. You know what he's like. Oh, very well. What was the phrase? Taxi fare. Taxi fare. And finally, what do you call it when people refuse to work, often because they want more pay or better conditions? We need every customer we can get. Ah, you haven't heard then. Heard what? There's an airline strike in London. It was on the radio just now. An airline strike? Yes. Obla Air will be the only airline flying from Freeport to London this week. <laughs> Your customer will be back, believe me. He's got nowhere else to go. And when people refuse to work, it's... A strike. A strike. And there'll be more about that airline strike and what it means for the staff and passengers of Obla Air next time. Now here's a chance to hear part of today's drama again. Look, it's a simple request. All I want is a business class seat on your flight to London on Friday. But Mr Chambers... You're flying to London on Friday, aren't you? Yes. And the plane's not full, is it? No. Then just sell me a business class seat. How difficult is that? Because, Mr Chambers, as I just explained to you, we don't have business class seats. Obla Air is a budget airline. We have one kind of seat. All the seats are good, all the seats are cheap, and none of them are business class. But I can afford to pay. Mr Chambers, I don't care if you can afford to buy the whole airline. There are no business class seats on Obla Air, and that's that. But that's all for this programme. You've been listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. Until next time, from David Evans and me, Joan Walker, goodbye.